So the other week I ha did a cover reveal for Iggy and Oz and the Plastic Dinosaurs of Doom by J.J. Johnson. And now I'm here with the spoiler free review of this book. And it's a great middle grade read, which means it's targeted for kids about ages seven to 11. So starting to read chapter books up to about middle school. And this book is just a lot of fun. It's really funny. It's really fast paced, uh, great characters. So it's about Iggy, who's this 12 year old boy and his younger brother Oz, who's about eight. And Oz wakes Iggy up in the middle of the night hearing these crazy noises in the attic and he's really scared. And so he, they go up and discover that their plastic dinosaurs have come to life. And so they start wreaking havoc on the neighborhood. So Iggy and Oz um, band together with their friends and they run around the neighborhood trying to capture these plastic dinosaurs that are chomping up flowers and running over a daycare center and all this crazy stuff. And it's just a lot of fun, and uh, there's a great cast of characters. There's the neighborhood friends, the neighborhood bully, and then, you know, the grouchy neighbor, and, of course, the parents. Um, what I like about it is the kids are the center of the action um, in the way that, like, when you were kids growing up in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, and you ran in the neighborhood kind of in a pack, and, um, but yet there were still kind of adults around. That's sort of the feel you get here. And it reminds me of, like, Diary of a Wimpy Kid or Toy Story. It's just... A really fun, funny read. I found myself just turning the pages. I want to read, you know, just a little bit more, a little bit more. Oh, shoot, I'm going to be late for yoga. And, you know, it's that kind of read. A lot of good pop culture references. And J.J. writes short fiction as well, and he's published several short stories. And it's kind of fun because there's even a meta reference to one of his short stories. Now, his short stories are for adults. They are, you know, high school and up. And I wouldn't recommend them for middle school kids or grade school kids. But... Anyway, I highly recommend this. I am so excited. In the back, he said there's going to be more adventures. So I cannot wait to read more stories about Iggy and Oz. Like I said, they're fun boys. They're funny. And I like that they don't really rely on crude humor. Humor. There's a little bit of, you know, a couple vomit or snot jokes. But other than that, you know, you just don't have to worry about them being, you know, jerky kids that you don't want your kids to imitate or, you know, they make a lot of cute, crude references and stuff. This is a fun, clean, light read that you can you know, maybe read even to your younger kids who aren't quite there yet reading on their own. And like I said, you know, for kids that love to read, they're gonna have fun with it. Kids that might be reluctant readers, the action and adventure in it might just entice them to become avid readers. So anyway, book I highly recommend, especially for middle grade kids.